darling. Today we're making braised cabbage with butter, bacon, and beer, and smoked sausages. So I have me a head of cabbage all chopped up. I threw away the core. And it's ready to go. And I've got a package of better cheddar smoked sausages from Johnsonville. So here in my big old stock pot, I've got about a half a pound of bacon, maybe a little bit more. And I've cut that bacon into about one inch slices. And I'm just cooking this all up until it's nice and brown and crispy. So that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out and put it on a paper towel lined plate to drain. So I've got my bacon done. I'm gonna set it aside and I am left with some grease in the bottom of the stock pot. I've got one Vidalia onion that I have chopped into pieces about like that. And I'm just adding that into this bacon grease. I'm gonna season this with a little bit of salt and some pepper. And I'm gonna cook this on medium heat for about five minutes. Okay, now that has sauteed for about five minutes in that bacon grease. I'm gonna add my head of cabbage that I've already decored and I've already chopped up. And I've chopped, up, chopped it up into pieces about like that. And now I'm gonna stir all of this up and try to get that cabbage coated with that bacon grease. Now I've got a bottle of brown ale. And if you don't want to use beer, then you can use beef broth or chicken broth. The alcohol will cook out of this though. And I am going to pour about the entire bottle <laughs> inside this. And this is 12 ounces. So if you don't use the beer, you'll need to use 12 ounces of chicken broth or beef broth. And now I'm gonna stir all this up. I'm gonna season this really well with salt and pepper and some garlic powder too. So I got my garlic powder in there. I'm gonna take half this bacon and sprinkle it on top of this cabbage and the rest of it I'm gonna save to put on top of the cabbage and sausages when they come out of the oven. Now it's time for the sausages. Now you can take them straight out of the package and put them straight in here without searing them because they are already fully cooked. But I think the extra color adds extra flavor. So I like to sear mine up a little bit first. And now I am slicing up a stick of butter and just dolloping it all over this cabbage, sausage, and bacon mixture. So I put my lid here on my big old stock pot. I'm gonna put this in the oven. Ooh, it's heavy, 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. All right, she is out of the oven. Let's take a look at her. So my sausages have split a little bit. That's all right. That means they're nice and cooked. Probably could have let this go for like 30 minutes and the sausages wouldn't have split, but I'm okay with split sausages. <laughs> Stir this up some. I'm gonna take the rest of this bacon and just disperse that equally on top. I kind of threw it down in a little pile, so I gotta fix it now. <laughs> I'm gonna scoop my sausages this way a little bit, and I'm gonna get me a scoop of this cabbage and the liquid. And I got some cornbread in the oven that I'm going to dip down inside of that. And it's going to be so good. So good. I'm going to get me one more smoked sausage and nestle it right in there. And dinner is served. Bacon, butter, and beer. Braised cabbage with smoked sausages. It's hot. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Man, that's good. This right here, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm.